The American Medical Association, the AMA, has just blown the proverbial whistle on one of the biggest falsehoods that has been perpetuated in the off-road and transport industry for over a decade. This has come in the form of its recent announcement and release of its policy on LED lighting for roadways. On the 14th of June 2016, the American Medical Association adopted its community guidance policy to reduce the harmful human and environmental effects of high intensity street lighting, stating, the AMA encourages the use of 3000 Kelvin colour temperature or lower lighting for outdoor installations such as roadways. The AMA announcement parallels the position that firelight has taken with respects to colour temperature and the resulting loss of visual acuity when using light sources above 3000 Kelvin. Light sources of 4000 and above colour temperature are not ideal and are not recommended for road surface illumination according to the American Medical Association. Firelight welcomes this announcement and of course shares this position. The market has been plagued by misleading statements about the suitability and advantages of four to 5,000 Kelvin light sources as being the nearest to sunlight and therefore better for seeing at night. This pseudoscientific bow was a long one to draw, but nonetheless it has been drawn and fired repeatedly in stores, trade shows, forums and four-wheel drive publications with nauseating repetition. So much so that it is often quoted as fact, often by well-intentioned retailers in the media. The propaganda of spin selling from many of the manufacturers has been very effective at taking the consumer away from what is ideal and leveraging the enthusiast's passion for new innovation. The AMA's position was adopted unanimously at the annual meeting in Chicago in June in 2016 and comes in response to the rise of new LED street lighting sweeping the country. Specifically, the AMA statement says, high intensity LED lighting designs emit a large amount of blue light that appears white to the naked eye and creates worse nighttime glare than conventional lighting. Discomfort and disability glare from intense blue rich LED lighting can decrease visual acuity and safety, resulting in concerns and creating a road hazard. The AMA encourages minimizing and controlling blue rich environmental lighting by using the lowest emission of blue light possible to reduce glare. The AMA encourages the use of 3000 Kelvin or lower lighting for outdoor installations such as roadways. Without a doubt, the myth that 4 to 5000 Kelvin light sources being the closest thing to sunlight are therefore best for visual acuity and road surface illumination has been put on notice by this announcement. The internet will and has lit up, if you'll excuse the pun, with those with a conflict of interest denouncing the AMA's policy. Who was surprised? Who will you believe? the AMA or your local expert or manufacturer. So how could so many manufacturers in the media got it so wrong, you ask? I'll leave you to ponder that thought for yourselves. But for what it's worth, new technology sells and to an industry that is populated by very passionate people who have a thirst for the latest technology makes for an easy target to exploit a new innovation. By default, new is good or better, right? Spin selling takes over and before you know it, a negative attribute, 4 to 5,000 Kelvin colour temperature, is hailed as a good thing, and secondary considerations are elevated to be more important than they are, such as current rule, and the dollars rolling. It is important to note that whilst the AMA's announcement is new, the knowledge and the research that supports this announcement is not new, and has been known for over a decade. Whilst Firelight welcomes the AMA's announcement, we recognise the shortcomings of colour temperature as a means to define the spectral performance of a light source. Firelight certainly favours spectral power distribution and encourages the AMA to consider this method to remove any ambiguity or confusion in the interpretation of the policy. Firelight is in the business of giving the consumer the best solution possible. We're not in the business of spin selling a falsehood. That belief has driven our design decisions and Firelight is proud to have been the only high performance driving light manufacturer in the world to have championed this cause and we congratulate the AMA on taking a stand on this issue. We stand alone no more. Caveat mTOR has never been more applicable to high performance driving lights than it does today. I encourage you to take the time to talk to one of our designers at Firelight before you buy or jump onto our website and follow the links to view the AMA's announcement and its policy. Thank you.